Hidden cause number 10, why you still have low thyroid symptoms, is you have an autoimmune attack on your own T4 and T3. Now this situation happens very commonly in people that already have some type of autoimmune condition, and specifically it happens frequently in people that have Hashimoto's. So let's do the little background here. Hashimoto's is by far the most common cause of low thyroid or hypothyroidism, by far. It's an autoimmune condition. Now a lot of people uh, will get tested for Hashimoto's and it'll show up positive, but you know the doctors don't really do anything about that autoimmune situation other than give you replacement hormones. And to be fair, the replacement hormones will help some, but typically what happens over time is you end up feeling the exact same way you did before you were taking the thyroid hormones. You have constipation, uh, depression, fatigue, hair loss, brain fog, infertility symptoms, you know, joint pain, muscle pain, problems sleeping. Those things are still there even though you're taking the, the medication the way they're supposed to. But what can happen when you take the medication can be a clear sign, an indication that you've got an attack on T4 and T3. So here's what I mean. So let's say you have those symptoms, you go to your doctor, you get diagnosed hypothyroid, but they don't test the Hashimoto's antibodies, and they give you uh, Synthroid. Well, you take Synthroid and it doesn't really do anything for you, and so you read some article on the internet from, you know, Mercola or somebody, and they talk about, you know, bioidentical thyroid hormone. They say, you know, Natrothroid or, or, or Armor. And so you think, hey, that sounds like it's better because it's natural, I'm going to go take it. And you take it, and then all of a sudden you have this huge flare-up, this bad reaction to it. What the heck is going on? Well, the first thing that's probably happening, especially if you're getting, you know, swelling and fever or headaches and pain, uh, those things, if that's happening, the most likely thing that's going on is you're having already an attack on your own thyroid hormones. See, armor and nature thread, those things are bioidentical, meaning they look a lot like yours. So if you're already attacking the T4 and T3 that you make, and then you start taking some stuff that looks just like it. It's just like throwing kerosene on a burning fire. Okay, That's why you get the flare-up. Why would you be attacking your own T4 and T3? Well, that's usually a progression that's happened. First, what's happened is you've attacked the inside of your own thyroid gland, and you're attacking thyroid peroxidase, and you're attacking thyroid globulin inside the gland. Now, once that happens, you've already broken the tolerance to yourself. You've broken that rule, so now you can attack anything else. And it's easier and quicker for your immune system to attack what's in close proximity to the thyroid peroxidase and the thyroid globulin, which is T4 and T3, which is inside your gland. So that's what happens to a lot of people is they develop Hashimoto's, no one diagnoses them with it, and they don't really find out they've got Hashimoto's or autoimmunity at all until they switch from a synthetic medication to a bioidentical. Okay, That's one scenario. Now here's another scenario that I really hope doesn't happen to you. What will happen is a woman has these low thyroid symptoms, she'll get diagnosed hypothyroid, they don't test for Hashimoto's, and she'll be taking, you know, Synthroid or Levothyroxine for a while, and then she just decides, you know what, I want to try something and see if it works better. I feel fine on what I'm taking, but I want to see what works better. And then they go to the internet, and somebody says something about, you know, taking Armour or Natrothroid, and they switch. And then they have this big flare-up again. Now the problem, that I, the reason I'm bringing that up is if you've already got something that's working for you, you're feeling really good on the synth synthetic medication, don't switch. Stay on that. There's no reason to switch. Because if you switch, there's, you know, there's a 50-50 chance you're going to have a really bad reaction to what you switch to. And if you do have a bad reaction to this bioidentical, that's a sure sign that you've got autoimmunity and that you're attacking your own T4 and T3. And that before the T4 and T3 attack, you are attacking your own TPO and TGB. So this is a hidden cause because um, most doctors have no idea what's going on if you have a bad reaction to the armor or a bad reaction to the, uh, the nature of the world. I don't care if they're a DC, ND, MD, whatever. It confuses them. They don't understand why that's happening. If you're having a reaction to that, it's probably because you just threw some gasoline on the fire. It, it's the same thing as if you were to take, it, it's the same thing as if you know you've got Hashimoto's and you take iodine. Why is that? Well, because iodine stimulates the production of TPO, which is what you're attacking in Hashimoto. So you're just giving your immune system more things to attack. They actually even, I think Quest even actually now offers a T4 and T3 antibody test. But I got to tell you, there's really no point in running that because the ranges are so ridiculously wide that I've seen that you're probably not going to show up positive for it anyway. Uh, the indicator is really just if you have a reaction to armor or a reaction to natrothroid or something like that, you're probably attacking your own T4 and T3, which means that's why you're hypothyroid and you probably have Hashimoto's. And you need to find someone that understands what to do with that. Because you're probably going to have to switch back to the synthetics, number one, but that's not going to deal with the autoimmune problem. 
that autoimmune fire is still burning. So you got to find someone who can help you through that. And that's that hidden cause.